Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to my podcast again. I'm going to get it out there and really, really get it out there. Really? As I say, really? Yes, I'm going to get it out there. Uh, I'm going to talk about a topic about the American police, not just uh, any police. Up and down the dial, um, up and down the dial, they have your regular police to your Mountie police, to your state police, to any kind of police. Um, they're all doing the same job out there keeping the peace. They all want to keep the peace. They don't want to go out there and shoot somebody. Uh, they're out there keeping the peace. So there's no civil unrest going on. There's no havoc going on in the streets and uh, houses and buildings and to your, you know, your uh, rural areas. You don't want your rural areas to go, you know, and, <laughs> you know, in terrible situations there. You want to keep, we want to have people safe, essentially. Um, so the whole idea is what police, uh, they don't want to fund the police because they start funding the, defunding the police. You're not going to have any police in our neighborhoods or up and down the streets. That's where they're, they're trying to keep the peace of the cities and the rural areas. Um, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to keep the peace so it doesn't, you know, <laughs> civil rest to uh, tyranny. Um, so there you go, folks. So I'm going to put up a uh, thumbnail video. It's not really a thumbnail video. It's a thumbnail uh, photo of the police, what I'm going to talk about. These are American police. They're not Canadian. They're not mounted police. They're American police. And um, what I've seen, what I've uh, gained some knowledge about uh, auditors or autographers, they like to go out there and do cop watches or the First Amendment auditors. And some of them do good, some of them do bad, some of them... Not so great, but they once they're they're doing things good out there. They're really people don't take notice of what they do, what their work is all about, and they really take it really seriously and take it a little and seriously. Um, they're out there for the greater good, not for the greater bad. Um, we want to leave this world in a greater good sense, but police are out there, so-called police. I'll, I'll give you quotations about it. Uh, whatever you call these people, they're law enforcement to uh, mounted police to anything. These are United States police. And uh, I really want to emphasize that. And uh, I've seen a lot of police videos to really gain knowledge here. It's not because of the police being out there and do what they do best. They're out there to, to make sure they keep everybody at peace. They're not, like, uh, running havoc or shock, uh, or up and down the streets and cities and creating havoc for a, a rest of us. Uh, they're out there creating, uh, keeping the peace, not resting anybody, just keeping the peace. And you might have different ideas about that, but uh, most part, they're just keeping out the peace and making sure everything's duck in a rolls. They always say duck in a rolls. I gr totally agree with that. It's like checking the checkbox. Uh, we've done that, we've done that. Yep, we keep keeping the peace. Civil rest. There's no civil rest going on here. Uh, we have a good rally of Donald Trump, yes, and Joe Biden, Senator Joe Biden, whatever, you know, whatever side you think of, Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Uh, you guys, you Americans will have to go to the ballot box and vote for either Donald Trump or Joe Biden. That's what we got. Or Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. Um, when I hear these people on the platforms, on their um, podiums and stuff, I really take them. I take them serious. Who they represent the uh, United States of? These are senators. These are so-called senators, and they represent you. They're there to represent you, and not for themselves. Um, people like to believe that and they're out for represent home of uh, the vast majority of humans around this planet. So there you go, folks. Don't don't be a wise guy. Just keep their knowledge out there. Keep the peace. Keep what you're doing, and the rest will do it. Rest and um, yeah, just keep safe out out there. You, you know, you want to go home happy. You want to go home happy and be safe about it. That's what they're out there to do. Keep, keep you uh, going home safe so you don't. Uh, you know, you, you had a good time out there. You had a really good time and. Uh, you know, I've been on this plan for 30 plus odd years, uh, not from the state side, but the Canadian side of things. And uh, I've seen the world and the way it is. And 
the seventies and eighties were the lesser time when people would go out and, and do things. They would stay at home, do computer works and stuff like that. So that, that's all interpretation of that. Um, so there you go, folks. I want to leave you on a happy note, as everybody is trying to do. I want to leave you on a happy note. Just stay safe. Do what you do best. And if you want to wear a mask out there, you can. You don't have to. It's option. It's not, it's not a law. It's a policy. Remember, it's not a law. It's a policy. And that's what we want it to be. Uh, so you can wear your mask. It's optional. I'm giving people options here. Uh, you can wear your mask or not. And, uh, yeah. If, it, if you can't breathe them, then don't wear it. It's as simple as that, folks. Anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Cop